in this video we are going to discuss the first question of the end of term outcome example problem 5.1 a crystal vase of mass 2.4 kg is dropped from a height of 1.30 meter and falls to the floor as shown in the figure what is its kinetic energy just before the impact? Neglect the air resistance. So question has given me the mass of the crystal vase and it has given me the height over which it is falling, h 1.30 meter. And it wants me to find its final kinetic energy, kinetic energy just before the impact, k final. We will use work kinetic energy theorem to solve this problem. Work kinetic energy theorem says that work done is equal to change in kinetic energy. So I can write the work done as K final minus K initial. I want to find what is K final. So we can rearrange the term and write in terms of K final as work plus initial kinetic energy. Move this kinetic energy to the left hand side and negative will become positive. Now, in this question, since the waste is falling, its initial velocity at this point is equal to zero because it is dropped from a height. When it is dropped from a height, the initial velocity is equal to zero. So its initial kinetic energy will also be zero. Gravity is doing work on the waves when it is falling from a height. And work done by gravity is given as MGH. This work done is taken to be positive because both the force due to gravity and the displacement of the object are in the same direction. So I will substitute for initial kinetic energy and work. K final will be MGH plus zero. Now calculate mass of the waste is 2.4. G is 9.81. Height is 1.30. And then you get your answer as 30.6 Joule. There is another way of solving this question. Since they want you to find kinetic energy, we know kinetic energy is half mv squared. Anytime an object is falling through a height or it's been thrown at a height, you can calculate the velocity of the object by using square root 2gh. So this value of V, I will substitute here in the equation. So K will be half M. When I do V squared, the square root will be removed to GH. And when you substitute your answer here, you get the same thing. Into 1.3, you will get the same answer, which is 30.62. So you can use whichever method is easier for you to solve this question. Question 5.11. Jack is holding a box that has a mass of m kilogram. He walks a distance of d meter at a constant speed of v meter per second. How much work in joule? has Jack done on the box. Now let's sketch the problem. Jack is holding a box. Now Jack is holding the box against the force due to gravity. The force due to gravity acts vertically downward. If Jack wants to keep holding the box, he need to apply a force which is in direction opposite to gravity. So his force is opposite. 
vertically up. But he is moving in a horizontal direction. He is moving with constant speed in horizontal direction. So his displacement is perpendicular to the force he is applying. We know that work done is F T cosine theta. And here the angle theta between the force and displacement for Jack is 90. And whenever the angle theta between force and displacement is 90, we know cosine 90 is equal to zero. So work done by Jack will also be equal to zero. Whenever force and displacement are perpendicular to each other, whenever the angle between them is 90, work done in those situations is equal to zero. So work done by Jack here will be zero. Question 5.19. The damage done by a projectile on impact is correlated with its kinetic energy. Calculate and compare the kinetic energies of these three projectiles. So let's solve for kinetic energy for each of these examples. For part A, we know that kinetic energy K is half mv squared. So kinetic energy of A, I will write as half. Mass of A is 10 kilogram. Its speed is 30 meter per second. Which gives me kinetic energy of A as 4500 joule. We do the same thing for B. In B, the mass of the ball is 100 gram. The first I need to convert this mass from gram to kilogram. And you convert from gram to kilogram by dividing with 1000. 0 0.1 kilogram. Then I find my kinetic energy for B, which will be half mb vb squared so half mass of ball b which we found as 0 0.1 kilogram and speed of ball b is 60 meter per second and when you solve this you get kinetic energy of b as 180 joule we repeat the same thing for c Again, mass of C is in gram. So first I will convert that to kilogram. Let me write this properly. First I will convert this gram to kilogram by dividing the number with 1000. Which will be 0 0.02 kilogram. Now I will find kinetic energy for C. Of mass of c into speed of c squared so half 0 0.02 times 300 square speed here is 300 meter per second and you get kinetic energy of c as 900 joule so we calculated kinetic energy for each of these values now we need to compare them so when you compare them, you see that kinetic energy of A is the highest, then comes C, then comes the lowest value of B. So we can write this as kinetic energy of A is greater than C, and C is greater than B. This is how you can make the comparison. 